Good morning, everybody. I hope you're having a fantastic evening. Welcome back to Outlast. Hi. Um, Taraya will return. I'm just playing Outlast right now because I'm really close to the end and I just want to beat it. Oh boy. I, you know what? Where do I go? Where do I go? It's a mystery. I don't remember how this goes. This is the part where it's kind of like... It's my one, one, my only other problem with this game. Like, I have two, I guess. I, I never really thought, like, yesterday, like, last episode I pointed out how, like, my first big one is Billy and, like, how incredibly, like, inconvenient he can be at times. Because otherwise he's a very, very scary character and it's very, very well done and I like him. But, like, for the most part... See, lines of mathematics and algorithm reprogram us, turn us into nightmare factories. A few numbers on a dry race, but give me a hacksaw in a few hours along with Dr. Wernick's corpse. I feel I owe him a debt. So, like, honestly, I don't like how this, how this ending goes. It feels really weird and strangely forced. Honestly, a little bit. Oh, you're gonna get me? Oh, okay. I guess I gotta go. Bud. Hi, Billy. No Bye, Billy. But all right. Oh, am I going that way? Try to explain. I know. I, I know. I am supposed to be dead. No, no such luck. I am older than sin, but somehow the only one left because of Billy. He takes care of me. He may not be his father. He certainly loves me, the poor idiot. Do you know what this symbol represents? It warns of a nano hazard. Microscopic machines. Technology we have had for decades but never mastered. Murkoff discovered in my research a work around. Turning the cells and human body into nano factories. It's the natural function of cells to produce molecules, but through psychosomatic direction, we engineer the precise molecules necessary. Mind over body. It was foolish and wrong to think we could control it. To use madmen to make something so strong. You have to stop him to murder Billy. Turn off his life support, his anesthesia. You have to undo what I've done. No one can so the other guy is not Billy. Is. 
The one that just died. Gotcha. There's always a, oh, but do this, or oh, but do that. Ooh, what's for lunch? Can't wait. Sure, it'll be delicious. Why? Where from? Ooh, what? Through shit. Ooh! Not about to find out. Why oh, might die? Yeah, that's on me. Two hits, really. I'm just supposed to gun it straight here. Oh, I can't. Yes, let's take our time with the fucking door while being chased by the ghosty goo. Oh no, I'll die. That's fine. Let me just deal with the inconvenience of a loading screen and having to watch a death scene. view it as an inconvenience. That'd be whatever. Let me make sure that everything's good. Yep. Oh, it'd be stupid for me to view it as an inconvenience. That, that'd be dumb! It'd be dumb for me to view it as an inconvenience. Absolutely stupid. Yeah, won't know what to do with that. <laughs> sure showed him. Ghosts can't go through doors, they're not fire. Note to all personnel from consultant MM008. Do not worship the swarm, nor allow the delusion of the patients to influence your beliefs. Any sentient being based in this technology will be so far superior to us that illusions of godliness will be reasonable. We have always looked into chaos and called it God. We now are blessed with sufficient power that such belief could destroy us. Do not be tempted. Remember that you are scientists. I'll just go. I'll just go. Ooh. Cool bagoonsies. Where the hell is it? Okay. Three years old, he looks at least 50 years of rough road pain scratched deep into what I can see. Killing you would be an act of kindness. Okay. Do I have to go this way? It looks like it. All the pipes are leading over here. The pipes, the pipes are coming. Nope. Who wins? Another sweet, sick battery. This is 
Billy hopes lungs, his liver, his life support. A machine the size of a football stadium to keep one lunatic alive. Fuck it all, break it all, he has to die. Sure. Sure. Frankenstein of the Modern Prometheus by Mary Shelley, published anonymously in 1818, Chapter 4, excerpt. Learn from me, if not by my precepts, at least, uh, yeah, precepts, at least by my example, how dangerous is the acquirement of knowledge, and how much happier that modest man than he who aspires to become greater than his nature allows. Okay. Yeah, I get you. I feel that. Fucking cut off the electric supply. No! Spooky man! Oh, you're coming to get me? Someone's up there! He can't go to the door, he's not fire. I'm okay, I'll be safe. Oh, I'm going that way, cool, alright. Upsy daisies. You remember really old school YouTube where they would like fucking do that and then end the episode and then do whatever I'm doing now? Instead of instead of like like each and then like just fucking end it after like 30 minutes or whatever. Like like 15, 10 minutes. Like I accomplished a goal, bye! My God! Whoa! I picked the wrong direction. That one's on me, fam. <laughs> I picked the very wrong direction. Gotta get all sanitized. That's fucking funny. Yeah, I know. What do I do now? I just, I just go the regular way, right? I was gonna get angry. I know I would. I'd be pretty miffed something fiercely. like this.
but I want this collectible. To avoid pay for energy, the more venom energy that I put out. Pause. Pause. Okay. There you go. You got all that. Nice. Sweet. Sassy, sexy lore. You are going to make me. Okay. Dumbasses. Oh, that was that was a good walk down memory lane. That was a fucking good game. Like the only two things that I don't think have aged very well are um, the butcher. What, what is it like? Fucking the tank fucking guy. The fucking I, I always called him Brutus or some shit. Doesn't matter. Um, I don't, I don't like him gameplay-wise because there's like this thing that ends up happening after you're playing it for so long. Where like, he's scary at first, but then you like, you eventually want to make progress, and he's very much in the way. His entire thing is very slow, and like, and then it's really fast. But then when it's fast, you're always in a really bad spot sometimes. And, and when you're in a, well, you're not always in, always. In, Sometimes you're in a really bad spot, and when he gets you in that really bad spot, it's really hard to get out of it, or it's completely impossible, and you just gotta fucking sit there and wait to die. And then after you wait to die, you have to watch a whole cutscene, wait for a loading screen, and then very realistically, watch another cutscene for him to show up, and then you get to try again. Like, that's the only thing I don't like about that. And then, um... And earlier I was saying I didn't like how, how it heads into this, like, fucking underground. Then I was playing it, I was like, oh, okay, no, it, it feels natural, it's a natural progression. Yeah, because it, it, initially it feels forced, but then as you play it, it's like, okay, story-wise, this makes sense thematically. So. Yeah, we were, like, right there at the end, too. It's fine. I don't want to make that last episode too long. That was good. That was really, really good. I liked that. Oh, uh, that, was, that was a good walk down memory lane. I remember playing that forever ago. I found all the footage, by the way. <laughs> so I've got, like, little funny bits that I did that uh, no one ever saw. And I might throw them out for, um, from the vault. Who knows? I left the whistleblower footage that's going up from the vault. Yeah, I figured if I'm going to do from the vault for whistleblower, I should probably play this game. So, <laughs> like, you actually have something to leave off of. So. I don't think there's anything after the credits, but I'll wait and find out. Kyle, let's get forward. Okay, no, that's it. All right. If you all enjoyed that, please leave a like, share, and subscribe. Or check out two videos of the end slate for the stuff I've done, and I will see you all in the next adventure. Now would be good.